So yeah, welcome back to the letters. Welcome back to the letters. We're here with two of the best vertical manipulators, whatever camera I'm looking at. Uh, Steve Alba and Dwayne Peters, we're gonna talk to you about pipe skating. It's just you and it and getting fucking gnarly. The unsung pipe. Okay, first of all, what we need to know is where did it all come from? Like, what's ground zero for pipe skating? Okay, this is, I wanted to hear this. I wanted you, I wanted you to ask me that, because dog tennis can claim all they want. They started pool skating, but dude, pipe skating started right here in the Badlands. It started <laughs> at Mount Baldy Pipe, 1969, Pat Mullis, Muckus. He was the guy that found the place. Baldy I seen pipe. a ride shot of Olsen there. It's the coolest place and <laughs> one of the best places ever. It takes one run and it's killer. <laughs> it's, it's like, are you killing? You know what I mean? Four yeah. feet of fucking flat wall sliding. Like, are yeah, you kidding me? He does me? go good there, I gotta say. <laughs> Didn't ride the whole time. Hey, give me, let me borrow that one. Yeah, it's like, fuck, there's the shot. <laughs> okay, Man, so, so Baldy, continue. <laughs> well, okay, so after Baldy happens, right? So we get the first vertical skate park, Pipeline. And Pipeline wanted to build a, a pipe just because Baldy was there. Pipeline was completely correlated to the area that we skated in and all the stuff we skated. So, yeah. so that Baldy pipe is only 14.5, so they're out like, how, how big should we make it? And I was only the Grom at the time, I was only 13, 14. So like, Charlie Ransom and some of the older guys like Tay Hunt and those guys that do, it's gotta be 20. It's gotta have 10 foot trannies, <laughs> you know what I mean? So now the new Upland is the same as old Pipeline, 20 feet tall, 40 feet wide. Dude, I fucking went, is that Texas? Yeah. I went down that thing with yeah, Alba. Yeah, yeah, but you didn't go all the way down. You had to bail out, right? No, we went down from halfway. I had to go you in the water. You went in the water. take a shower in the water. You went in the water. We have shots of us in the fucking water. But it was pretty <laughs> fucking high. We both had wobbles going into no, the water. No, that's a gnarly shot. Okay, I was watching. but there's some other shit I want to talk about real quick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've been all over to ride pipes. I've been to at least eight states to ride pipes. And I gotta say, like, we went kind of crazy on a pipe mission for like four years, where we had to like, our, our whole mission was to go ride every pipe that we could ride. U.S. Bureau of Reclamation. They always have elbows for the most part. Baldy Pipe is USACE, United States Army Corps of Engineers. They never have elbows, and all those pipes, they only have gates on the back, and the gates always have to be six inches up because they always have to let water come through because if the gates get messed up, it clogs all the shit up and causes major damage. Now, if you go to other states, I'm not going to tell you where, but elbows are always the other kind of pipes. The U.S. Army is the one pipe, the River Reclamation is the other pipe, and those guys kind of control the whole water of the whole, like, west of the Mississippi. So there you go. <laughs> Radical. In the old days there, in the 79, 78, 80, there was rows and rows of them, 20 footers, just lined up. Tackett claims he did the ollie first in those pipes. So does Jeff Tatum. Yeah, so does Jeff Tatum. I believe in Tatum, man. You know, but, 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 you know what? Okay, but. But they're both full of shit, because we did it before they did in Arizona. <laughs> before fucking Alva. You did. I'm, I'm sure. Oh, I love that. I'm sure Alba did it too in Arizona. You feel weightless the whole time, even when you're not that high. But when you're high, you just feel like totally upside down. We went to Arizona the first time with Stacy, Greg Ayers, Jim Casimus, myself, Blackheart, and Bongo. And like, it's just, like, we're in heaven, dude. You know, like, we're in the middle of the desert, and all there is is pipes everywhere, 20 footers. Like, at one point, some other dude showed up. You know, dude, you got to go to the downhill section. We're like, what's that, dude? Believe me, you gotta see it. You oh. won't believe it till you see it. So they take us and they're building this section. It's like flat, and then it goes downhill for like 10 pipes have already been built, but it's not finished yet. We were in dollars or whatever, and they got all pissed because nothing worked out. We didn't get paid. And Stetch just all let's go, let's skate this pipe. And that's, you know, Doug Snyder's on the cover, 1979 November, Amarillo, boom, right there on the cover, you know what I mean? And so that's kind of how I got my whole pipe thing going. I wanted to skate pipes. I go, oh, dude. I didn't want to participate because of my brain. I but I, this is what I remember. <laughs> Another time we go to Amarillo right here, and like we're going under the fence, and here's this sign right here, right? And that sign is right here. And it's one of the Texas dudes that wrote, Texas property, no trespassing, Salva. Gibson slaughtered us all. Oh yeah, Gibson was rad. Cover a thrasher, fucking oh, that cover thrasher hit jean one jacket. Of the, one of the best ever, yeah. Fuck it, like dude. Black and those guys drove in, and they drove a car up the elbow, and almost crashed, but pulled it. They didn't get to the very top, they didn't crest it. 
How's he get had, a fucking car down He, he there, had dude? to go... Argh! Bill Shapner comes down to the beach and goes, Dwayne, we got a chance to make a loop, but we don't know how much, what to do. I, and I, I, he goes, would you do one? I was like, you guys gonna make a loop? Fuck yeah, could I get in the show if I say I'm gonna do it? They go, yes. Skateboard queen, skateboard queen, prettiest thing you've ever seen. And I told them make it 14 feet like Baldy and a fucking Hot Wheels track. And I shot called it right then and there. I was a little wrong. <laughs> I did it all in, in a, with a stick in, in the sand. sand. A little, little okay. cocaine mask. Yeah, yeah, check it out. So we make this I want it 17 feet high. So I'm three feet above the 14 foot loop. My feet will be three feet above it. So I'm looking down on my stadium of death. Yeah. It's the death loop. <laughs> Nobody ever thought it yeah. was going to be what it became. You know, so you yeah. fast forward 25 years, right there says a whole shit ton. And Tony's Tony, he goes and builds it. It's you and it, and you're trying to fucking sort it the fuck out based upon some like seven year old concept of the fucking Hot Wheel and an evil Knievel doll. Yeah. Like, period. Fuck yeah, absolutely. So Lance calls me up and says, hey, do you want to go do this? And I'm like, fuck yeah. I go tell my wife, like, I'm going to go die. Lance fucking washing machines himself off the side of the ramp, basically lands on his head, you know, where there's no bag. He goes outside all freaked out. And Hackett gets up there and goes, oldest man ever to do the loop. And fucking rolls in and goes, <laughs> and comes down and steps off of it, like right at the flat bottom and bails. And gets up and goes, does that count? And I go, fuck no, do it again. And he runs up there and just drops in and makes it. And the fucker rolls away from it and I go, oh no, you're not stealing the fucking glory today. I came here to fucking do this. I, we put all the bags back in. I took one more run at it. I'm all, pull them all. I didn't even look at it. I just walked up there, put my board down, didn't even look at it and just rolled in. But. I wouldn't have done it hadn't it been for fucking Hackett's mouth. So thank you, Dave Hackett, you, you know? And then here comes fucking, you know, Bob Narr. Right. And at that point he had already, you know, he'd already done it at Tampa, forward and switch. Plus he, he did the one at his house too. He built the one at his house. Then he took the roof of it out and he was jumping it. He brought that metal one in. Do that I, I might too. have it out of sequence here, um, but that's fucking glue huffing shit right yeah. there. Um, for those that have had the opportunity to to uh, to do it, you know they know. And for the rest of you, enjoy the show. Something that's never been made before, but the people had a belief that uh, something outrageous could be done, and they could do something like this. And like it's something that you do the sliding you feel the wind crushing against your ears and it really is an unreal feeling you're just gassing on how insane that was